What's up guys, it's Brad from JBH Media here. Today I'm going to be sharing 6 visual effects tips for compositing your CG elements together. Alright guys, let's get started. In learning visual effects concepts over the years, one realization that I've had is that the most realistic composites either have a lot of specific details or they hide the lack of those details. So in creating this CG helicopter flying over the ocean, I wanted to try to get as realistic as possible without changing much about the CGI models themselves. This involves trying to composite the elements in a way that hides some of the lack of detail in parts of the 3D models. As you can see inside of Blender here, the two 3D models that we have are really great, but their materials aren't the most realistic, and our environment and ocean is made up of mostly simple diffuse materials. One of the first things I did to improve the realism of this composite was actually shoot on a longer virtual camera lens with a larger aperture or smaller t-stop. Without going into the physics of why this is, by doing this essentially we're able to blur the background and have our virtual camera focus solely on the helicopter in the foreground. This essentially brings any detail needed to make our background environment more realistic down to a bare minimum. So the second thing I did that's pretty important for this particular composite is I I rendered all of my CGI outputs from Blender with motion blur. By doing this, critical 3D motion blur was added to elements such as the rotor blades on the helicopter and the helicopter movement itself. This kind of 3D movement is hard to replicate motion blur on inside of a 2D compositor without a specific vector pass designed for that. So instead of trying to do that motion blur inside of the composite, I did it on the output from Blender. So the third technique I used to composite this shot together was a mist pass overlay. As I mentioned in my previous video, as environments go further into the distance, they lose saturation and they lose contrast. So essentially by rendering a mist pass from Blender, we can overlay this on top of our environment and create this decrease in saturation and loss of contrast in a very specific and realistic way by simply creating kind of a gradient. This is one way to create more 3D separation between your foreground and your background elements. So the next thing I did in addition to the atmospheric fall off created by the mist pass is I added some foreground atmospheric elements passing directly by the camera. This created a more real sense of motion and also takes some attention away from the background. Finally, one of the most important things you can add to your composited elements is glow and glare. This is especially important when your composite is supposed to be lit by something as bright as the sun, as is shown in this video. To add this glare, I isolated the brightest spots of both the helicopter and the aircraft carrier and added a glow a glare effect to them to promote a greater sense of realism. I also added a lens flare on top of this, which can be effective if used properly. Lens flares do exist in the real world, so when you're filming toward the sun, it would make sense to have one in this particular shot since our virtual sun is backlighting our environment. Finally, in addition to the glare, I also added a camera shake to our composite with the wiggle effect inside of After Effects. Essentially, by adding camera shake, you can make the viewer feel like the shot is more organic and less mechanical. It can bring them further into the scene as if they are actually there and also create some more motion blur to hide any lack of detail you might have in those CG elements. Finally, to bring everything together, it's important to add a final grade to your composite. This brings all of your colors and different layers of your image into the same world and can drastically change the look and mood of your image. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like and comment on this video if you thought it was helpful or if you have any questions or suggestions. My Instagram and Facebook page are in the description below. Be sure to check it out if you'd like, and I'll see you guys next time.